Hello, this is Robert Berry, Registered Clinical Exercise Physiologist with Henry Ford Hospital Preventive Cardiology, and we're talking about peripheral arterial disease. Peripheral arterial disease, PAD, and coronary artery disease, CAD, are essentially the same disease with the same causes and risk factors. The difference between PAD and CAD is in where in the body the blockages are formed. Claudication is a cramping or aching in your leg that comes on with walking and goes away with rest. It is a sign of inadequate blood flow to your leg muscles. Common areas where claudication pain may be located are in the calves, buttocks, hips, or feet. Only about 15% of people with PAD experience symptoms of claudication. Peripheral arterial disease may be diagnosed with some basic tests. One is the ankle brachial index. The blood pressure in your arms and the blood pressure in your legs should be close to the same. If they are not, it may mean there's a blockage somewhere. Duplex ultrasonography and CT scans use imaging techniques to allow the blockages to be seen. You can prevent PAD from progressing by making sure you take your medications as prescribed. Having a routine, like a pill box, can help make it easier to remember to take all of your medications. Smoking is a big risk factor for PAD. If you smoke, Stopping now is the best thing you can do for your health, now and in the future. Following a healthy diet, getting regular exercise three to five times per week for 30 or more minutes each time, and controlling your blood glucose levels are also important ways to keep PAD from progressing. This concludes our session on peripheral arterial disease. We hope you found the session useful in continuing your heart smart journey. Thanks for listening.